Good morning, everybody. This is Tanetta. I hope everybody is doing well this morning. I wanted to stop in with a quick video just to, um, actually, it was a post that I saw yesterday. One of my friends on here, Abigail Angle, she posted a post um, about Maya Angelou yesterday. Um, and some of you all may know her story from when she was a kid. Um, there were several years that she did not speak. And of course, once she started speaking, of course, we all know that she was, of course, speaking everywhere on everything at the presidential, at the White House, everywhere. So, and um, looking at Abigail's, I guess, like reading her post and that kind of thing, I believe it was one of her groups, and I can't think of the group that it was in right now, but it was ma mainly talking about how, um, of course, finding your voice is freedom, at least for me, because that's what I actually posted on the post. And I just wanted to come to you all this morning just to kind of talk about that. Of course, that's why it's called I Know Why the Cage Bird Sings. Um, for, and good morning, Sharitha. Good morning, Simon, for tuning in this morning. Um, and like I said, I know this is inspired by Abigail's post, so thank you, Abigail. So like I said yesterday in reading that post and me, of course, commenting on that post, um, and good morning, Pina, thank you for tuning in. It just reminded me, of course, why I get up every day and why I, of course, I may not do videos on this page every day like I used to or often like I used to, but but like I said, it just reminded me, of course, as to, re as to, as to the reason why I, of course, started speaking and telling my story and not being quiet anymore. Like I said, it was a lot of times throughout my life, like I've said to some of you all before, that's actually on here, that I was, of course, I can't say I was silent, but there was a lot of things that I, of course, was not sharing about myself, and that was, of course, killing me inside. I guess I put it that way. Causing me, of course, a lot of anger, because some of my family that may be on this page as well, of course, knew that I had anger issues, that kind of thing, sometimes road rage or whatever the case may be. And like I said, holding all that stuff in, just angry, 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 and not allowing that stuff to, of course, be released some kind of way. Not even crying, because I, I, I didn't really cry much either. Maybe a few times in my life, I guess, be, be, before, maybe like a few years ago, like I said, I did barely cry. So like I said, there was a lot of things that I had pent up energy, just um, a lot of things that I was upset about, seeing domestic violence most of my life, I guess I put it that way. Um, people being killed, all kind of stuff going on around me, drug usage, all these things. And like I said, holding all that kind of stuff in, it just reminded me that, of course, at some point I had to say something. I had to speak up. I had to share my story. And I had to tell people what was going on because it was killing me in the inside. And like I said, I know a lot of you, whoever, I guess, on this video, Sharitha, Simon, Pina, anybody that, re that, that catches the replay, some of you, of course, may not be, of course, sharing your story. Not everybody's going to do that in the video form. I know that. But, of course, at some point, things are, of course, hurting you inside, like it was me. You, of course, are going to start sharing your story, trying to get things out. Of course, that's how you, like Pina always says as well, that's how you heal yourself internally. You have to, at some point, if you want to grow, if you want to, of course, be free internally and externally, you have to, of course, like I said, start sharing your story and speaking your truth. And that was one thing, like I said, Abigail's inspired post that inspired this video. That was, that, that was one thing I want to talk to you all about this morning. So I know a lot of, because I, I, do, I, I don't comment as much as I used to on all the posts, of course. So I'm trying to get some stuff together in business. But as far as me just scrolling down sometimes, just like to look out like throughout the day, what's going on. And I'm noticing a lot of people, of course, speaking about or, or posting messages about um, sharing their story and scared to do this and scared to say this and scared to type this or whatever the case may be. And you're right, Pina, it's definitely healing the world from within. You're definitely right. And I see a lot of that going on. And like I said, I know a lot of us are hurting. A lot of things are going on. A lot of us are have may have depression, suicidal tendencies, anxiety, all those kind of things. A lot of that comes from not speaking to me, I guess, in my situation. I can't say everybody's situation. But I know from what I've looked at, what I've studied, and what I've noticed within myself, so I had a lot of those things as well back in the day. And like I said, in order for me to, get, of course, get over those things and to, of course, like, like Pina said, heal myself from within, I had to start speaking and telling my story. And like I said, Maya Angelou did the same thing. Like I said, that's that, that's where this video came from this morning. About I know why the cage bird sings. And I'm looking over here in my bookcase I because I actually had that book over there. But like I said, Maya Angelou was actually silent for years, actually. She didn't, of course, speak. She didn't, well, she chose not to speak. And of course, as we all know, once she starts speaking, of course, she never shut up. I guess I put it that way. Um, she was, of course, she, she wrote a lot of books. Like, I have like a whole lot of books over here from her. She was, of course, in a whole lot of TV shows. She did a whole lot of videos. 
She was at the White House speaking to the president, doing different different inaugurations, all kind of things. Like I said, once she found her voice, she didn't shut up. She didn't do any of those things. She kept talking, no matter who it offended, no matter who had something to say about it, no matter what, what other folks thought. And like I said, that's the point that I had to get to as well a few years ago as far as speaking and not being afraid to say this because it's going to offend somebody or somebody in my family was going to be upset or somebody that I knew growing up, a friend was going to be upset because I'm speaking about a situation that may have happened, not with their names or anything like that, but they may have been involved in. And of course, that triggers a lot of people as well. I know that. Um, but like I said, that was something that I chose to do because I could no longer be silent. I could no longer just sit there and watch the world go by and I'm not saying anything or doing anything. And knowing that I have, of course, like like Pina said, healing from healing the world from within and including power to, of course, speak those things and to say those things and to hopefully heal others as well. I guess I put it that way. And to, of course, help other people free themselves and, and, and speak, I guess, in order for them to speak their truth and tell their story. And like Pena said, exactly, stand up for your truth. You have got to do so. Um, nobody's going to do that for you. And like I said, I know with, um, I'm sure my Angelou, I'm sure as well, and I'm sure other folks who, of course, have not, uh, who had not, of course, been speaking on video or just whether it's speaking, I guess whether it's on video or you're writing posts or you're just speaking to people in general, I guess, like people that you're by at work or whoever you're with, that kind of thing, and just sharing your story. Like I said, a lot of us, oh, it's not nobody else's business what happened in my household, and at least that's how I was told when I grew up. You don't tell other folks what happened, or are, are strangers what's going on outside of your household, but keeping all that shit in, trust me, it's going to kill you at some point. It's either going to give you some kind of depression, anxiety, um, some kind of other mental illness going on, I guess I put it that way, suicidal tendencies, as I've been there as well. Like I said, holding all that stuff in will cause all these issues and cause resentment for those folks who, of course, told you to to keep all those things in, I guess I put it that way, which usually is our parents or our caretaker, t caretakers of folks that we're around. Like I said, they may want to hurt for the rest of their lives, but like I said, Maya Angelou, and I'm choosing, of course, not to do that as well. Like I said, I knew where that was taking me to. I knew I was getting angrier and angrier and that kind of thing. And, of course, I was just going to explode at some point, I'm sure. And like I said, I had to take it upon myself to, of course, start just telling my story. Like I said, whether anybody liked it or not, whether anybody wants to hear it or not, I could have cared less, I guess, to put it that way. As you all can really see, I guess, I could have honestly cared less. And thank you, Walsh, and thank you, cousin, for tuning in this morning as well. And like I said, there was a lot of things that I had to realize that I could not just stay silent. And like I said, Maya Angelou with that I Know Why the Cage Bird Sings, she was sat, oh, it, it, and, um, and cousin, it's my favorite. I, I love that book. It's actually over here on my shelf. I'm probably going to read it again, actually. But like I said, there was a lot of times that she didn't speak. And of course, I know, but not speaking and not speaking up, not even advocating for yourself, people are going to run over you. You're not, of course, at the point where you love yourself, anything along those lines at all. You don't know your value because I know I didn't. And like I said, by me speaking up and, of course, advocating for myself, standing up for myself, and, of course, exerting my power, of course, I, I finally realized that what I needed to do as far as me, myself, and that kind of thing. Like I said, that's something that I had to learn. And I know that's what my Angela had to learn as well. And like I said, I know that's why she, of course, started, I guess, the cage bird singing, herself being the cage bird and her, of course, singing, speaking. And like I said, that's, some, that's the same thing that I had to do. Like I said, all the anger and all these things that was going on that I just kept inside and kept inside bothered me every single day. And like I said, I had to get to a point where I could not shut up any longer. And like I said, that's the point I'm sure she got it, I guess, got to as well. And some of you all on this video, because I've seen Pina's video, I've seen um, Sharitha's videos as well and her post and Pina's post. I've seen my cousin Walton's, his, um, I don't know if he's done videos or not, but I know I've seen his post as well. Him speaking out, everybody at some point, if you're wanting change in your life, you wanting to, of course, free yourself, I guess I put it that way, you have to speak out. And I'm going to go ahead and try, I guess, try to end this video because I got to get to work, y'all. So Sharitha, Simon, Pina, Walton, I want to thank you all again for tuning in. And Walton, you said people hate me because I love myself. That's okay, Walton, the same thing. You know what? It really does What I, I just said maybe like five or ten minutes ago, it really does not matter if anybody hates you or not. If you want to speak up and say what you have to say, those people that hate you, they're obviously not the ones who you need in your life, I guess I put it that way. And like I said, I had to learn that as well. And I know you probably have seen my growth and that kind of thing as well. Because back then I wasn't doing any kind of videos, love myself, anything. But like I said, I know there's a lot of folks who, I'm sure because I've gotten some messages, uh, I guess throughout the last few years I've been doing these videos, some comments. And actually some of them were from people who, who were related to me and some were... Um, People who, of course, online, friends I've known, that kind of thing, 
how you're telling all your business, you're doing this, you're doing that, who you think you are, that kind of thing. Like I said, I can care less. I guess I put, I put it that way. And I'm here to tell you again, Walton, you, you, who, who cares? I guess I put it that way as well. Like I said, if those are the people who, of course, hate you now, that kind of thing, whether they're family or friends, those are not the kind of folks you want around you anyway, so it really doesn't matter. And that's something that I had to learn as well. Yes, it may hurt, of course, to end some of those relationships and to to not talk to those folks again or are in the same way, but you can always love folks from a distance is what I know now. I guess I put it that way. Now, I know I got to get to work, so, I'm, so let me go ahead and get to work, y'all. So everybody that catches the replay, thank you for tuning in this morning. I love you all. Thank you all for who, of course, we're on here, Sharitha, Pina, Simon, and Walton. Everybody have a great day. Love you all. Bye-bye.